Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching this video, you need to figure out how to change or replace a violin string. So that's what we're going to show you. This is my daughter's three-quarter size violin. It is uh, missing one of the four strings, you can tell. It's actually missing the string right here, which is called the G string. Uh, before you need to uh, go out and run out and buy a, a new string, you need to know what size the violin is. Like I said earlier, this is a three-quarter size. Then you need to buy the appropriate size string. Uh, this one, you can see right there, it says three-quarter size, and it is the G string. And uh, something like this is going to cost you probably around four or five bucks, depending on the store you buy it to. You can get it online for around five dollars. Some of the more expensive stores, you can probably pay ten bucks for it. Uh, but let's just talk about what we're going to do. We're going to use a pencil too, a graphite pencil, because this is a lubricant graphite. And up here in the nut, this is called the nut of the violin, right by the peg box we're going to lubricate let me get this a little closer put a little graphite right there and that will help lubricate the string so we don't put undue tension on it when we put it on the other part to do it is on the bridge notch right there not too hard it's just right there that'll help a little bit uh, the actual peg up here in the peg box if you're not familiar with these these come out they're usually made out of ebony, some are plastic, but if they're ebony, a wood, a real hard wood, uh, they make an ebony kind of a compound that you can rub on these in between. So when you do eventually tighten that string up there or do some fine tuning of it, it won't squeak. That's especially important during a performance, but we're not going to use any of that today. What we're going to do is uh, put the, uh, see that little hole right there? We're going to put the string through that hole and then turn this thing forward I mean like counterclockwise that'll keep the string running away from uh, the nut before bending down right down right away and you put a lot of pressure on there so the other thing to do and it's easier to show you right now is when you put the string through you leave a little extra coming through so you can kind of uh, have like a little tail uh, sticking out that you can wrap the rest of the string around just to kind of hold it a little more secure so I'm gonna put the peg back in the peg box Open up our string, and handily enough, they have a little tear spot. You see one end of it has a ball. That's actually a ball, that's what they call it. That'll fit down in the tail piece down here. Uh, and we want to seat that ball in there completely. And we'll do that first. Let me get that up here. Put the ball in there. There's a little slot, you want to get it in. It's easier when you're not trying to film yourself doing it. Okay, we already put graphite on the bridge, so I'm going to stretch this out. And I'm going to try to position the camera here so you can see what's going on. Okay, we uh, position the camera to be right above the peg box. And you can see the red end of this G string. I'm going to try to push this through that hole in the peg. There we go. And I'm going to turn it backwards the way I told you not to, just to see real quick. Make sure I got it all the way through. Okay, yep. I got it all the way through. And you see that little extra right there? Okay, now I'm going to turn it, try to get that little tail that I have in there under as I turn this to tighten it up. That just helps it hold it a little more secure. And this is hard for me right now because I'm trying not to bump the tripod. In reality, this is not so hard. Whoop, we're sliding. Okay, everybody's okay. We'll do it from the side here. So what I'm also doing, just because this G-string is on the left side of the violin, the left side part of the uh, peg box, I'm feeding the string to make sure it's on the left side. That'll just help keep its positioning. And before I go completely tight, I want to make sure that we're back in the notch over there on the bridge. And in the notch here up on the nut. So things are looking pretty good. Okay, in a nutshell, 
all you have to do is if the string is not on there you'll uh, just put the new string in the back here put the ball in that little slot seat it make sure you graphite the bridge there and it's seated in that little notch in the bridge all the way up here in the uh, the end that you'll be replacing stick it through the pin hole in the actual peg and turn it forward so it's not bent under that means looking at it from this side you're going to turn it counterclockwise and once it's in you'll just need to go ahead and do the normal tuning but it shouldn't be daunting you're not going to need a tech to do it if your kid knows how to tune a violin they should probably know how to uh, replace a string this might help them do that uh, that's that's about it. So that's your tutorial on how to go from no string to string installed. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.